Hello everyone, I wanted to reach out and address a concern that some of my viewers have brought to my attention. I understand that my limited English in my previous videos may have made it difficult for some of you to fully understand and enjoy my content. Many of you have kindly suggested using subtitles to improve this issue. I appreciate your feedback and support. I am now exploring the use of AI voice technology to enhance the quality of my voiceovers and provide a better viewing experience for all of you. Thank you for your patience and continued support. I would really appreciate it. If you could take a moment to subscribe to my channel, like and share. Your support means a lot to me and helps me create even more tutorials in the future by subscribing you'll be the first to know when i upload new content and you won't miss a thing in this tutorial we will see how to use modern front-end development with webpack by the end of this tutorial you should be able to create front-end project from python webpack boilerplate learn what is webpack and how to use it to compile front-end assets load compiled css and js in django template so let's get started install python webpack boilerplate with pip install it on your terminal by just typing pip install python webpack boilerplate python webpack boilerplate can let you play with modern front-end tech in django even if you have no idea how to config webpack Let's run Django command to create front-end project. On your terminal, just type python manage.py webpack in it. Here we use the default front-end slug, just hit the enter key to continue. Now, as you can see a new front-end directory is created, which contains some files for our front-end project. Next we will add some settings configuration code to base.py file, which is located in settings folder.
please make sure you have Node and NVM installed. To check if you have Node installed, just type Node-V. If you have Node installed, you will get the Node version on the terminal. Let's get the NVM on GitHub. I will give the link in the description. Just clone this repo on the terminal. It will take few minutes, that's why I pause the video. Now, let's run command to compile. First of all, we will have to change the directory and move inside frontend folder. Then we will install npm dependency by just typing npm install. Now let's just type npm run watch on the terminal. If you see a message indicating that you have compiled successfully, then the watch command is running smoothly. Now press control C to terminate the npm run watch. We can see something like this in the Frontend build js directory. It indicate that node js and webpack is working on our local env. As you know, in the previous chapters, we use files from cdn link in the wagtail bootstrap blog template space to make bootstrap work in our Django project. However, this approach has many limitations and we cannot customize Bootstrap. Next, I will show you how to build Bootstrap and customize it. We will start by installing Bootstrap dependencies by just typing npm install bootstrap bootstrap icons and make sure that you are still in front-end directory. If you check package.json, you will see that the packages exists in the dependencies. App.js is the entry file in frontend project. We import the index.scs file at the top. Index.scs is the scs file we would edit for our project. And then we import bootstrap.js bundle file in index.scs. They are installed by npm install, and they exist in the node modules.
It looks like we have typing error. Change SCS to CS on line 7 in index.scs. If we do not see any errors, which means our code is working, let's press Ctrl plus C to terminate the NPM process. Next, update base file in the template folder of our project. We import webpack loader at the top. This Django tag come from Python webpack boilerplate. Use stylesheet pack app inside extra CS block to import CS file of the app entry file. Use JavaScript pack app inside extra js block to import js file of the app entry file. Then run the server to see if nothing changed. Then follow this link. It looks like we are having a typing error again. Just change from style sheet to style sheet in the extra CS block. If we check in the browse again, bootstrap theme should still work without issue. As you can see, Python Webpack Boilerplate help us quickly import modern front-end workflow without touching relevant config file. I know it is pain for many Django developers to use it transparently in Django template. What is more interesting, it can coexist with Django static files, so importing it will not break your Django projects, which is awesome. So with this type of integration, now we are ready to add mention and emoji support to Django form. And that's exactly what we are going to see in the next tutorial. I would really appreciate it if you could take a moment to subscribe to my channel, like and share. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when I upload new content and you won't miss a thing. Thanks for watching.